Medical marijuana is frequently utilized in, in terms of combating cancer, in terms of combating HIV and AIDS, and other serious medical conditions. There are innocent, innocent people who are afflicted with serious medical conditions. Why do we want to deprive them access to a product that could benefit them in some way, shape, or, or, shape or form? That sounds rather callous and hard-hearted from my standpoint. Um, I mean, I think it'll mean less money spent on this failed policy. I think it'll mean more money for really worthy projects, things that are going to make Pennsylvania a better place to live and work and raise a family. Um, I think it's going to mean less lives shattered by having to spend time in jails for something that's really not hurting anybody, uh, and therefore making it harder to get into a place like Westchester or get a job. Um, I think it's going to mean safer streets. Um, and uh, I would urge you guys, if you can, to reach out to your Senators and Representatives. I'm sorry, I was, I was hoping we were going longer. Um, I, I think I think it's a mixed bag. I don't, um, as I sort of indicated in my, and, and again, I don't want to take away from the positives. I think there will be positives from it, but I also think that it's, um, you know, the devil's in the details. It's not all going to be wonderful rainbows and unicorns. Um, I think with this kind of deal, it. It, it creates some positives, but it also creates things around DUI. It creates some issues around, you know, there's a tremendous amount of public service workers who I don't think you want um, under the influence of marijuana when they're driving your train, flying your plane, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when I think about this, one of the things that I think about is, all right, so if we're going to legalize this drug, then, you know, the NIAAA, which the National Institute on Alcoholism and Alcohol Abuse recommends, uh, for alcohol, you know, for a male, no more than two drinks per day, per day, and no more than one for a female. So, what's moderate marijuana use? What what would we recommend for legalizing this, and, and when does that happen? A quarter for a male. Um, <laughs> right. 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 Well, um, and so, what what percent three. THC are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> right. You, you know, see, so well, you, you start to dice it up. Fifteen percent. Well, right. So. So you start to dice it up and it gets complicated. And I think that's ultimately where I am is that it's complicated. And so we need to be really thoughtful um, and take it slowly on some level um, when addressing this, thinking about it, creating you know, laws um, and policies and procedures about how we handle that kind of stuff.